So, we meet again. I'm back. This is the second take. Um, the first one, I had a different hat on. And I didn't like the way it looked. So I literally had like 12 minutes of footage and I said, you know what, nah. I'm taking a single camera production class at the moment. That's what I wanted to talk about. And, um... Yeah, it's very cool. I'm learning about ISOs, uh, shutter speed, FPS, frames per second, I'm sorry. I'm a little advanced. <laughs> well, we literally had to check out a whole camera. This camera is um, called Sony NSX. NX3. That was close enough, I think. But I'm learning a lot with it. I took um, about, I took three shots yesterday. I had to take two day shots and then one night shot from different like distances words sorry distances um i got one of my sister i got one of my neighborhood a cat tiger and i got one of my sister again same sister just i got another one of her at night yeah yesterday was like my first time actually like playing with the camera i kind of just had it there because i was very intimidated by this big machinery video thing it has a lens that's what you call that i think i forgot the other words you guys had me stumped that's been a good day it is currently like 1 17 a.m a.m as i was saying uh yeah i'm in the single camera production class it's really cool i'm learning a lot about them i mean i was kind of dumb by like just jumping in and buying like an action camera and um this camera I'm using right now because I had no idea like how they worked like any of the manual settings I just kind of like pick it up go no matter how it looked like I just wanted to do it dumb not dumb because like, it, it's a, a simple camera for meant for that but I, I let me compose myself real quick I wanted the easy way out as I usually do and I didn't want to learn what it takes like what are these functions i have to learn i didn't know what an iso was i didn't know what uh, frames per second were i didn't know what exposure was or white balancing any of that stuff but now i understand like these are very important things when it comes to filmmaking or just owning a camera you know, you have to know how to do these things, and if you don't, you don't get the quality you want. Even now, like this frame, how I, this, how I frame this up, it might not be the best. I wanted to see how it would look and practice a little more. And that's honestly what I'm trying to do a lot more. Even if, like, I just post little dumb videos on this channel, you don't have to like it or anything. It's more for me to practice, see how it looks, edit it, do whatever I have to do to get better. You know, step out of my comfort zone for once. I don't, I don't do that often, and I should. So this is one way I'm gonna do that uh, this year. So come along for the journey. It sounds cliche, but if you want to watch, you don't. You could. If you don't want to watch, it's okay. This is really heart to heart type of uh, footage. It's like I'm having a therapy session. Anyway, everything's good. I'm doing good. I am learning. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. I wish everybody the best. And I hope to see you guys soon. Anybody. And I will do more um, to get better with um, the footage. <laughs> All this stuff, you know, just better shots. Better talking to the camera. Better... Uh, composing myself getting better to say what I want to say okay the things will get better prepare for better footage prepare for every, prepare prepare it's gonna be better okay thank you guys for watching um see you guys around